high. So I've come back to show you an infill. I've removed the gel polish off this clear extension and I'm now going in and pushing back the cuticles. I've also made sure I've removed any lifting and that the old acrylic is flush to that natural nail. Normally, I would then come in with my cuticle bits as per usual and possibly cuticle nippers, but because I only did this now yesterday, um, I'm not going to worry about doing that today. These aren't going to be staying on. I then come in with a 180 grit file and I etch that new growth area. Make sure there's no um, tissue, skin, anything left on that nail and make sure that we really prep that thoroughly. Apologise for going out of shot there. And then I'm just going to refine the shape. So same um, practice as always, side walls, side walls, free edge, skip over. And once I'm happy with that shape, um, I'm making sure really that the nail is properly balanced again. And once I'm happy, I will then come in with some alcohol prep spray and we'll give it a good scrub to get rid of all that dust using my trusty Terry the toothbrush. Um, he is due to be replaced. He's quite old, but I like a toothbrush. It's easy to grab hold of and it does the job. It gets all of those nooks and crannies. So as you can see, I'm now coming with dehydrator. So I apply a small amount of dehydrator to the natural nail only. Wait for that to go chalky. And then I'm just going to pick up a big enough bead of acrylic to redo that cuticle area and put the balance back in the right place. So not a huge, a huge ball of acrylic. You know, you only need to snort a small one. So I'm turning my hand around because, as I said, I can't do it the other way. So just going to pop that acrylic on there and literally just tap, tap, swipe down the side, tap, tap tap so it's nice and flush and it's not touching the skin and then I'm going to pull the front part of that bead down to blend into the previous acrylic now I'm not going to pull it all down we're not going to squash it flat I'm literally just tickling it down to blend in because again don't want to do the filing and that's it for the acrylic so going on to the filing um, not much filing on a infill like this. So again, side walls, side walls, free edge. And then we're going to skip over the cuticle area. Going to be gentle doing this. That skin is quite delicate. Now I've speeded this up slightly just to save some time. So don't file this quick normally. And all I'm doing is I'm stopping, checking from each angle, checking from the side checking down the barrel of the nail, making sure that apex is where I want it to be. Rubbish for going out of shot, aren't I? Hopefully, if I can get a better camera mount, it will get easier. But anyway, once I'm happy with the filing, I then come in with my buffer and we literally just buff over the nail, make sure it's nice and smooth, nice and easy. Quick spray with some alcohol spray and a scrub with old Terry the toothbrush. I will replace him. I'll buy a new one this week. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of acetone and I'm going to wipe that extension over again. I just find that it smooths it out before we put our gel polish on. So we're now ready to put the gel polish on. On this occasion, I'm using CGLP. Love this colour. Um, like I said, I'm not a gel polish person. So my gel polish application is rubbish. So please don't copy me on this. I'm sure you can all do it much better than me. But the first coat goes on. Nice thin coat. And I don't cap on this layer. I tend to wait till my second coat. And here we come in with our second coat of colour. So another thin layer, but on this layer, I tend to only use two coats with the CGLP because it's quite a good coverage. It's a very good coverage actually. But I just cap that free edge on that second layer. 
And once that's been cured, we're then ready for a top coat. Um, but I'm going to show you how quick it is to get gel polish off. So I just wanted to add this on. So I'm just going to remove this gel polish. I'm using an extra coarse bell bit on a medium speed. I got this one from Nail Dot Supplies. Um, you can also get um, them on Amazon, places like that, but I tend to find this one's really good. Um, so we just whisk that gel polish off and I'm just going to clean it up, rebuff the surface, and then I'm going to reapply a rose gold glitter gel polish. So again, I would usually do two coats and a clear top coat and we're ready to go. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed so far. I know it's not many, but I've got 10, 10 subscribers. I'm so excited um, and hopefully um, my editing will get better, my, my camera angles will get better and um, whether you're one of my lovely clients who likes to know how these things are done and why they're done or whether you're another nail tech, maybe you're new and you're coming in, I hope it helps but um, I've really enjoyed it. This one was much easier today because I did it in little bits and pieces and then added it together. It worked. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch and to subscribe, leave your comments, um, good or bad, I'm here to learn just as much as you guys are and um, I will speak to you all soon. Just going to leave you with this lovely rose gold gel polish from Halo.